Okay, here we are. Welcome to Fun Day Monday, November 2020. This is about music and trains. Music and trains, that's right. Mm -hmm. The question was, this month while on tour, Rod Stewart always books two hotel rooms, one for himself and the other was for B, his model train set. Wow, yeah, that's interesting because I'm not sure that everybody got that one right. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Yeah, not was, who would have thought, right? Right. Well, he's one of Rock's biggest stars, but Sir Rod Stewart has finally revealed the fruits of his other great passion, model railways. That's right. So while he's on tour, he books an extra room as he constructs and builds the railway in his hotels. He, in fact, has done 90% of the project. Wow, that's incredible. And, and that explains, I'm sure that uh, when he's booking another hotel, he just must really have a passion about it. He brings a lot of that, his project with him to actually construct it, like right up there as he's on tour, which is amazing to me. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, he, he only has someone help him with the electrical portion of the project. And that was, that's probably the 10% because, you know, I can't even imagine all the electrical parts that you would have to put together, you know, for not only the train set, but for the, the buildings and, and the, all the other setting of the, of the town, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and, and in fact, the railway is set in about 1945 era in the, in the kind of the New York area of, of that era. And he's been doing this for 23 years, which more than 23 years, which is amazing. Um, and I and before we did this video, I was watching him perform, you know, some of his singing and stuff like that. Such a cool guy. He's such a I love his music, too. Yes, yes. And 23 years is an awful long time. And a lot of people laugh at him because it, they think it's a silly hobby, but he says it's a wonderful hobby. Well, I'm glad he sticks up for his hobby because I have a lot of friends that actually do this hobby. I've known a lot of adults to do this hobby. And um, it is a lot of fun. I'm, I've had little trains since myself and never got into it for that, that extensively. But wow, that's amazing. So... Well, Elisa, are we ready for the uh, the contest? We are. I've got it right here. All right. So we, you get to pick your favorite charity of choice if you're chosen. So <laughs> let's see who we uh, who we could choose this month or who All wins. All right. This month. Let's see who we've got here. All right. Let's figure it out. Greg and Tina Morris. Greg and Tina Morris. Yeah, they're friends of mine right in my neighborhood. So that's pretty cool. Yes, congratulations. Yep. So we'll, I'll get in touch with you guys and we'll figure out what your charity of choice is and we'll make a nice little donation there to that uh, charity. So um, we, get, we, we get a lot of people playing. This is such a fun, fun event every single month, the Fun Day Monday. And uh, now that we give to charity, I think it even makes it more special. I think it does. I think it does. It makes people think about other people and that's great. That's always great. Right. And there's so many needs out there, right? So many needs. There are. Especially. It, it, it's been interesting <laughs> that we've had so many different uh, charities to donate to. I know, and they've all been really great too. I, I've just given me a, a lot of good ideas of uh, which charities I like, you know, just figuring them all out. Maybe we'll have to have an episode where we, we share a lot of the different charities that uh, we've, you know, been able to give to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys have a wonderful November this month, and uh, please don't keep us a secret, and especially... Have a happy Thanksgiving in November, which is coming up. Yes. Such yes. a great time of year to be with family. Everything seems a little extra special during 2020 when we get together with family, right? Right. Right. That's right. Well, you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much. We'll see you next month. Goodbye. Bye-bye.